we realize that that Jesus deserved to live, and that Barnabas deserved to die, and, and we realize that sometimes life and God just isn't fair. So let's let's think: what's God's perspective of us? You know, what does God see when He looks at us? Like last week when we talked about how God sees us covered in Jesus' blood, what, what would he see if he really looked at us past the sacrifice of his son? I believe that, that God would see at the core of us, we just aren't good. We have a sin nature, we're broken, we're fallen. We, we had our chance and, and we blew it. And I say that because of what happened in the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve. God gave us a choice. And, and realize that, that when given the choice to do things the right way or do things the wrong way, at some point we would drop the ball. At some point we would screw up. And so God came up with another plan. And that's why he sent his son, Jesus, to die. No, it wasn't fair. And, and neither was God in that situation when it comes down to his relationship with his son. It wasn't fair to Jesus that he did everything right and he did everything perfect and he didn't deserve it but but he sacrificed himself for us that wasn't fair and it's like have you ever lied that's a good story or maybe have you ever stolen something yeah it was a squiggly pen which I lied about or maybe let's let's do it like this have you ever put something ahead of God? Yeah, it was the girl that I stole the squiggly pen for and then lied about it. And if you answered yes to lying, then I would say, hey, you, you've, you've broken one of the Ten Commandments. You know? Mm -hmm. We know that already. The point is, we have right. all fallen short of the glory of God. Because at the core of us, we aren't good. If we were, then, then Christ died unnecessarily. You see, Jesus tells us... Uh, this statement in Mark uh, 2 verse 17 he says it's not the healthy who need a doctor but the sick I have not come to call the righteous but the sinners you see Jesus Jesus walked right up to the Pharisees and the Pharisees had their righteousness see they thought they were good they thought they had it all figured out and Jesus walked right past them and went straight to the prostitute and to the drunks and to the sick and, and to the broken he went to the people that needed him. So I would say that if you think you're good at the core, then Jesus didn't die for you because you don't need salvation. Jesus said, I came for the sick and the broken and the needy. You see, if, if you struggle with, with this feeling of self-righteousness, if, if you think you've got it all together, let me, let me put this in perspective. Paul said that that his best attempt at righteousness were just filthy rags. And those filthy rags that he were talking about, the, the rags that you hear me say, they're the same rags that were used by women on their monthly cycle. That's, That's nasty. nasty. Think about that. Let me put it this way. There's no one righteous, not even one. All have turned away. They have together become worthless. There is no one who does good, not even one. And that's scripture, guys. That's the word of God. You'll find that in Romans chapter 3, verses 10 and 12. So if you're struggling with why isn't God good, why isn't God fair, I don't deserve this. You just remember this one, this one point. We deserve punishment.